the energy transition is underway. The phase-out of nuclear energy and coal is advancing, and renewable energies are being expanded. Renewable energy is normally generated in places with the best conditions. Wind energy is generated in northern Germany, and photovoltaics can be found in the south where there is a lot of sunshine. The energy transition is leading to a decline in the number of conventional power plants located close to centers of consumption. This means that electricity has to be transported over longer distances. Transmission system operators safeguard the electricity supply with an infrastructure that reliably delivers renewable energy to people. The main transmission grid control centers ensure that energy is available in the right place at all times. A strong grid is needed to transport electricity over long distances. To avoid the risk of overloading, we optimize and reinforce the grid and expand it to make it future-proof. However, as the grid expansion has not yet been completed, there is a mismatch between the high level of generation in the north and the centers of consumption in the south. So, bottlenecks can occur when a lot of wind energy is generated and fed into the grid due to strong winds. To ensure that the grid does not become overloaded, engineers in the main control center calculate the anticipated power generation and distribution in the grid. On this basis, they determine at an early stage where overloading, that is, a grid bottleneck, could potentially occur. To avoid these grid bottlenecks, engineers make adjustments to the local distribution of electricity generation. This process is called redispatch. When there are strong winds, they tell the wind power plants in the north to reduce their feed-in. At the same time, power plants in the south are asked to increase their electricity feed-in. This is how redispatch prevents the overloading of power lines and safeguards the power supply. The fundamental shift in the energy system resulting from the integration of numerous decentralized renewable generation plants increases the number of affected plants by a thousandfold. In addition, these generation plants are often directly connected to the distribution grid. This means that distribution grid operators and larger industrial plants also become players in the redispatch process. All these new players generate a large amount of data. Transnet BW has created a redispatch platform together with partner companies in order to coordinate the data in a centralized process. It is called Data Exchange Redispatch, or DARI for short. In future, a central cloud-based IT platform will assist smaller plants and grid operators in the redispatch process in selecting the best plant such as biogas plants and wind turbines. The goal is to automate the selection of the optimum redispatch measure across all voltage levels. The energy transition is advancing throughout Europe. This means it's increasingly common for situations to arise in which more renewable electricity is produced in some countries than is currently being consumed while in other countries, there's not enough renewable electricity to cover the load. Electricity is traded internationally to compensate for this. However, this increases the distance between generation and consumption. For instance, electricity consumers in southeastern Europe are supplied by a wind farm in the North Sea. This increases the transmission grid's transport load. The resulting overloading is remedied by means of international coordination. To this end, Transnet BW collaborates with other transmission system operators in the core region to optimize the redispatch process so that producers in all core countries can be used for redispatch. This is how Transnet BW keeps the grid stable in Baden-Württemberg, Germany and Europe.